Hi Repies, today I'm going to show you how to create donuts in three fancy ways. Let's go! Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to create donuts in Roblox Studio without having to create an OBJ file and then import it into a mesh part. So it's just really simple. Okay, so I'm just delete the sample here. Uh, basically, I want to create a star shape. I don't know how to explain it, but it kind of looks like the star shape. So first insert a block and then scale it to any size you want. I want it to be tiny and small. Okay. And yeah. But um just a little bit reminder that you be you have to create you have to download some plugins, but they are all free now. Um so yeah, I'm gonna show you that later. Um so just copy and paste this into just duplicate it. I mean, you can just duplicate it. Also, set the start. I don't know if I should check this move box. Uh, I don't know. So, um, I want it to be 0.25 stats. So, let me explain what stats is for. So, for example, if it's this one stat. When you move it around, it will move following one stud. And if you select a smaller stud, for example 0 0.1, you will be able to edit it more precisely. But there is also a small drawback back to it. Uh, let's just go with 0 0.25 stud. Or you can just select any stud you want. It doesn't matter as long as you can feel comfortable. tab and I want to download the gap fill plugin hmm. okay so they don't really look nice and even although I've tried my best to move them down like that so just go ahead and fill in the gaps who cares right shift and then select all of them you may loop them up and I'm gonna name it donuts now duplicate this part you can go to uh, can you can right click it and then duplicate or just use shortcut which is control D now you have as copy move them up but um, yeah you can just fix this yourself 
uh, if you look closely there are lots of mistakes so I don't really recommend this way this method um, so you know what to do next right create more part and place the top the all in all I think this method is beneficial to you the reason the first reason is that this one is free and unlike the second method you don't have to download blender or sketchup which costs money for a sketchup part and plugin needed in this video in this video is also free but there's some bad size the first thing is that the model does not look natural and you have to do lots of scaling uh, also this this method is inspired by a video i'm gonna link that in the description 3D Warehouse is a website where you can get free 3D models without having to pay money, like real money. So go ahead and search up for donuts and you'll find several do free donuts, 3D donuts. And um, download it with the right sketch of version that I already got. So if you have not downloaded, SketchUp yet, I will link the um, website down below showing how to get SketchUp for free. I have SketchUp 2017, as far as I've learned, it is the um, last free desktop version, so it should show up that window, just select that. And open the file with SketchUp. And now, this screen should be showing up and um, you're open, opening the 3D donuts with SketchUp and in here you want to go to file and export it as a 3D model and don't forget to save as OPG type file and go to blender you should be seeing a default block and delete it now go to file should take a while to load so here it looks nice and colorful um now you want to scale it to the size you want by pressing f that's a nice size you want to press tab go to the object mode so you can select which one to um, be invisible or not Alright, so now copy the part and then paste it into a different Blender tab and then export it as an OBJ file. Click anywhere within the screen. Okay, so you want to go to the properties tab if you can't find properties just go to fill and then um, click on the properties box and go to mesh or mesh ID or something and then just upload the file click yes because it should it should position the blocks to the right place or sometimes it does not. For me, in the most cases, it does not.
finally, I have uploaded this model to Roblox. And it turned out pretty well. Oh my god. The reason why part 3 is not in this video because I'm I'm just wondering if I should learn to create my own donut in Blender because I know it will be time consuming and uh, I don't know if I have enough support from this video.